Now, mining is big business in South Africa. It is also it's the world's largest producer of chrome and platinum and the second largest producer of palladium and zirconium. It is also the fifth largest producer of gold. But digging up all those riches is a dirty business and it has left behind a poisonous legacy. Viewers Kevin Enox has the details. The informal township of Tudor Shaft is near Johannesburg and even nearer to a number of old gold and heavy metal mines. It is surrounded by mounds of mine tailings that blow contaminated and radioactive dust through town. The water supply is filled with acidic leftover mine wastewater. Residents and environmental activists say living here is a death sentence. My mother is dead because of this place. She died in 2007. She was diagnosed with TB also. Then they told me that that dust is inside her lungs. Then she passed away. Some also grew their vegetables on contaminated soil. There is radon exposure. There is both the inhalation and the ingestion of radioactive dust. A number of international studies have placed the blame squarely on the South African government, saying it hasn't done enough to clean up the mess or warn residents of the danger. But regulators say that is going to change. I do realize that uh, there has uh, some time has elapsed. However, in our planning for this year, we have prioritized uh, the cleanup operations um, to oversee the cleanup operations for the next two to three years. The government has also launched a relocation project to get people out of the contaminated area. But critics say it's moving much too slowly. The problem is made worse by the fact that commodity prices are down across the board. And mining companies say they don't have the money to help clean up the mess. Kevin Enix, BOA News, Washington.